Barak da Yahawa, Barak da Yahusha, Barak da Yahawa, Barak da Yahusha, Pashem, Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Jacob vs. the Angel. This lesson was inspired by a comment made from Apostle Gabar on his latest video and this video is entitled goal of being called to the faith this video was published on June the 14th 2019 okay just like a, a person walking a tightrope fights to, 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 to stay on that tightrope and you'll notice he's what he's balance balance is very important to a guy walking a tightrope okay and that's us in this faith fight the good fight of faith lay hold on eternal life just like our forefather Jacob laid hold on that angel to get that blessing and that's the point of this lesson which brings me to 1st Timothy 6 and 12 fight the good fight of faith lay hold on eternal life and the only way you will lay hold on eternal life is fighting the good fight of faith whereunto thou art also called because we are called in this truth and Lord willing we are chosen and has professed a good profession because this is a good profession this is a great profession by doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai because he could have selected someone else but he chose us and like I said before Lord willing we are chosen and has professed a good profession before many witnesses and we profess this good profession by being in season and out of season okay consistently doing the work week in week out okay when you go into the term <coughs> good in the Greek, it goes into um, being morally good to have honor. All right. This entails of you walking in the spirit. When you go into that Greek term walk, and I'm referring to the scripture Galatians 5 and 16 that term walk means how a Hebrew conduct or regulate his life meaning the application of the scriptures application comes from the term apply and when you go into the term apply it means to attach oneself to and we supposed to attach ourselves to the scriptures, which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay? And if you're fighting the good fight of faith, then you're staying in the guidelines of the scriptures, which makes you a noble because you're you've been born again, okay? Now you are um, high born through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay, that's what makes you good. Applying the scriptures, stand within the guidelines of the scriptures, not leaning from left and right. No, you stay within those guidelines, which brings me to Genesis 32 and 22. And he rose up that night, and then he is referring to Jacob, and took his two wives and his two women servants and his. 11 sons had passed over the four Jabbok and he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had and Jacob was left alone and there rousled a man with him until the breaking of the day so Jacob started wrestling this man from some point at night until the dawn of the day what would motivate and compel Jacob to wrestle this man let's continue and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he touched the hollow 
of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. So this man touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh, which knocked it out of joint. But Jacob continued to fight. Okay? He continued to wrestle. He was compelled to do so. He was motivated to do so. But why? Verse 26. And he said, let me go for the day break it. Because it's dawn now. Meaning that you can actually see light in the sky. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And this is the reason why Jacob was wrestling the angel. He knew in the spirit that this man was not an ordinary man. Okay. He was compelled. He was driven. He was motivated to receive a blessing from this angel. That is the reason why Jacob fought the good fight. And he had faith to do so. It all starts with faith. And that will was given to Jacob by Yahweh, by Shem al -Shai. Okay? So when we go back to 1 Timothy 6 and 12, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. See, Jacob was fighting this angel for a blessing. Okay? And we're fighting to receive salvation. Okay? That is the reason why we're fighting. Jacob had faith to continue to fight, and we must have faith to continue to fight. And also, when you examine Genesis 32 and 25, and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. You can consider this as a fiery trial. So when we're fighting the good fight, when we go through losses such as um, um, seeing demons, demons attacking us, losing our jobs, losing our wives, losing our family, car trouble, getting sick and so on and so forth, these are all fiery trials that we must go through to prove ourselves to Yahweh by Shem al -Shai. But we must continue to fight the good fight. We supposed to be compelled to fight for salvation, such as our forefather was compelled for that blessing. And also another point I want to make regarding this this topic, you know, and Jacob, he wrestled the angel straight up. You know, he didn't pick up nothing. Okay, you know, he didn't fight dirty. You know, which made him fight the good fight. And from a symbolic standpoint that's how we need to do okay we need to stay within the the guidelines of the scriptures and the application of the scriptures okay lord willing you're edified shalom